Nice ice cream? Um, yeah. It's a Belgium double chocolate and caramel swirl. With nuts. My favourite. Me too. Want some? Thanks. Wow. Never would have picked Leon as the Belgium double chocolate and caramel fudge swirl type. With nuts. So, waiting for your dad? No, no, just hanging around. But isn't this your dad's shop? No. Leon! Then who's that? Uh, that's, um... Can give your dad a hand? That's my dad. But you just said... Yeah, I thought he was out. Oh. Leon, you there? You better... Uh, you want to come in? OK, so this is the part where I go... Nah, I'd better get going. Sure, love to. Ah, you got a little. Whoa! Look at all this stuff. You must have so much fun in here. Most of the consoles need repair, and the ones that do work. So old, the games suck. Give us a hand, will you, mate? Um, Dad, do you remember Taylor from school? Oh, hi, Taylor. Hi, Mr. Olpowski. Whoa! What are you doing with all these watches? Uh, some guy dropped them in, and Dad's going to see if they work. Good one. Gary, Gary, give us a hand. Come on. He's going to drop it. Hold right up. Hang on. Oh, Harry, Harry, Harry. Hi, Taylor. Oh, this is Flynn. Yeah. Problem with the telly, or are you looking to pawn it? Gary, we're not looking to pawn it. We don't have financial troubles. There's something wrong with the screen. Well, we're not certain there's something wrong. Yes, Michael, there is. It's all crinkly. Crinkly? Well, not all the time. Look, last night we were watching a home movie, and there were all these inexplicable lines all over my face. What? Well, do you see any wrinkles on my face? There must be a fault. All right, I'll have a look at it when I get a chance. There's no hurry. Yeah, sometime today should be fine. Or oh, whenever you get around to it. At some time today. Or oh, whenever. Today. Gary, do you mind if I pop up a flyer about the school's fundraising trivia night? School's having a trivia night? First I've heard of it. Yeah, you should get a table up this year, Gary. We could use the competition. We've won the primary school trivia night four years in a row. May not be a bad idea. Good prizes, have they? Gary, it's a fundraiser to raise money for the school. You can donate something if you like. We're donating a do-it-yourself will kit. You might find something. You OK? Yeah, I just seriously don't want my dad to go on the school trivia night. I recognise that sound. That's the sound of... Embarrassment. My dad's a walking embarrassment. You think your dad's embarrassing? He is nothing compared to my parents. This yeah, one... I don't want to talk about it right now. You're not going to walk away, are you? Your friend needs your help. But he wants me to. Who wants you to? Sorry? Oh, uh, just thinking aloud. Thinking? You weren't thinking at all. The answer to his problem's obvious. Good old-fashioned Aussie sabotage. Sabotage? Sabotage. Sabotage? I really don't think that's a good idea at what all. What a great idea. We could sabotage the night. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why, Why not? not? Because... Because if you got caught, you'd get expelled. And why? To save embarrassment. Wouldn't it be easy to embarrass everyone else? You're right. We'll glue everyone to their seats. <laughs> I like the boy. Oh, Ned, when will you grow up? No, when am I going to I mean up? embarrass them by winning. Yeah, right. Like, me, my dad and my brother are going to win the school trivia night. Well, what if I was on your team? We could study really hard and we could answer all the questions. No one would even notice your family. I'm not very good at studying. Well, lucky for you, I am. I'm really, really smart. We'll have to spend heaps of time together.
take these, Taylor. And take these as well. They can go straight into your mum's collection pile. Collection pile? What? What's all this stuff? Trivia night donations. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if you won them all back? Yes. <laughs> won them back? What? Yeah. We're getting a table together. We're entering this year. Sabotage. Sabotage? Yes. I've been thinking about it and I think it's a good idea. Great even. What about all the stuff you said about studying really hard? Temporary insanity. And what happened to you being really, really smart? I am. That's why I think sabotage is the only answer. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. Hey, just the people I want to see. I want to try out one of the questions for the trivia night on you. I'm quiz master this year. Go for it, sir. OK. What causes pink flamingos to be pink? Um... Tick, 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 tick. Ah, time's up. It's the vast quantities of algae they consume. Fascinating. Yes, it is, isn't it? Yeah, this is excellent. When Mr Lacey's running things, it's going to be about sport. I know heaps about sport. Yeah? So what sport do flamingos play? Taylor, relax. Our team's going to win. I'm going to go to the library and see if they have any books on sports stats and you handle the flamingos. Yeah, but Leon! We're going to win! Le OK, so when I asked if you wanted to team up in primary school, you said, and I quote, there's no way I'm letting my family enter something as dorky as school trivia night. And now, you're teaming up with Leon. Look, it's complicated. Complicated. This is Leon we're talking about. He's as complicated as carpet. Come on, what's a big deal? No big deal. It's just that I'm your best friend. And best friends usually ask their best friends. It wasn't planned, it just sort of happened. You know what else just sort of happened? I just stopped talking to you. What are you guys doing? Studying for the trivia night. New Age Essentials. Any questions on chakras, tree spirits, or essential oils? Oh, blitz them. Isn't that a bit specialised? Exactly. exactly. Everyone has their area of expertise, and your mother's is the New Age. Right. So what about you, Marge? The royal family of Monaco, past and present. Dad? Underwear? Past and present. Great. So if the questions are about boxer shorts, royalty and what spirit lives in a gum tree, we'll do fine. Plus whatever the Lepowskis bring to the table. Gary just called and said that you and Leon had arranged it. They're coming over now for a barbie to brush up on their general knowledge. I'll go and fire it up now. Leon Lepowski's coming here? When? Any minute. I've got a change! What's up with the Vertically Challenged? Layla, good. We need your knowledge of the personal lives of the rich and famous if we are going to win this trivia night. Trivia night? <laughs> Do I look like I have the word loser written across my forehead? Oh, well, we'll just have to tell Brett Lepowski you won't be joining us for the barbecue. Brett Lepowski's coming here. When? Any minute. I got a change! <laughs> there you go, Gary. Medium rare. <laughs> oh, wait. My coach says it's important for me to maintain my protein levels in order to maximise the efficiency of my training regime. That is so true. Yeah. Your brother sounds really smart. Hey, Brett, what's four times 100? A relay. So, Gary, what's your area of trivial expertise? Well, I'm quietly confident I can handle any question on the resale value of electronic goods. And I just read a whole book about cardio training. A leaflet, really. Did you retain much? No, I train every day. I don't retain anything. That is so true. Well, looks like we're covering all bases, eh? Dad, this is a trivia night. There'll be questions about history and politics. Taylor, it's a trivia <laughs> night as if there's going to be questions about history. <laughs> <laughs> Dance on the night. <laughs> <laughs> sabotage the sound system. No sabotage. Excuse me, Don. Margaret, Michael. Uh, 
Do you mind turning it down just a smidge? Hey, listen, why don't you bring Loretta over for a dance? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, thanks. Um, we're brushing up for the trivia night. And Loretta, oh. um, I mean, we like some peace and quiet. Oh, good. Uh, no worries. Come on, kids. Take it inside. Ah, oh, let's go. Come on, Come on. Hey, Dad, Mum wants you inside. Leon. What are you doing at Taylor's house? He's on my trivia team. But why? You can't win. I can't think of a reason why not. Well, I can think of two. Number one, we always win. Number two, we have a secret weapon. Come on, Brittany, we need to go study. Hector! If I was talking to you, I'd say hi yourself. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm revising work on William Shakespeare. He's a playwright, Leon. Yeah, I've got his CDs. Good luck, Taylor. Bye, Liam. We've got a lot of work to do. We've got Australian history, social studies, and science. Okay. Leon? Yeah, sure. Don't you think you should, um, maybe read the books? One thing at a time. We're going to be very embarrassed if we lose, OK? I'm just glad we have a big team, because that way nobody will notice my dad. I wish I could say the same thing about mine. Hey, Hector! Hector! Yes? I understand why you're hanging out with Brittany. That's OK. Gee, thanks. But can you at least tell me why? Why what? Why Leon? And don't say because he's tall. It's just that Leon gets it. Gets what? What it's like to have embarrassing parents. And I don't. Thanks a lot. You know what? It's going to be fun beating you. Right. First question goes to Layla. What is the capital of Belgium? B. Brussels. Second question goes to Marge. What is the main export of Sri Lanka? Ah, uh, Kamal. <laughs> it's tea. That's why I asked you. The only person in our group who reads tea leaves as a living. Right, next question goes to Dad. Who was the second man on the moon? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Taylor, you don't believe all that moon stuff, do you? Everyone knows that was staged in a studio in Hollywood. It's a well-known fact. It's not. The answer is Buzz Aldrin. Buzz? What a weird name. <laughs> that is so true. Buzz Aldrin was the second man on the moon. And you know what? This team is going to come last tomorrow night. Last! OK, everyone, we'll be starting in a minute. Please, <laughs> take your seats. Lights off, please. <laughs> and prior to the Euro, the French currency was... Frank. Oh. Taylor, I just wanted to say good luck. And uh, I've been... It's... OK. Want to come join the non-currency table? I kind of promised you. OK. If anything's OK, we're friends. Good luck. Next trivia night, I'm all yours. Hector, let's conjugate some verbs. Well, we've done research. Yeah. Of course, we're going to be all right. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. Do you think we have a chance? No. <laughs> all right. We've got a big night of trivia lined up for you. I hope everyone's fighting fit and ready to go. Yeah. It's time to put on your thinking caps, pick up your pencils, and take no prisoners. Now, the rules. Each table has an answer sheet for each round. Write your answers on the sheets and hand them back to me at the end of each round. OK? The team with the highest score at the end of the night is the winner. Yeah. So, ready to do it? Yeah! yeah. Radio. <laughs> Round one, here we go. The works of William Shakespeare. In The Merchant of Venice, what was the bargain that Sherlock struck? Which tragedy features a mischievous elf named Puck? And last but not least, the prize on zero. Yeah. Southeast Asian politics. Who is the current president of Indonesia? In what year was the Association of Southeast Asian Nations established? Of Vietnam's National Assembly represent the Communist Party. And the fried table's still on. The wives of Henry VIII. 
I know this, I know this. Di Diana. 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 Queen Victoria. Hands of space. Well done to the balloon table. The laws of physics. Yes, this is mine, baby. What? I know all about phys ed. The fry table yet to score. I'm pie. Got it. Oh. Ah, ah. Okay, half time and checking the scores. It's the floon table blitzing the field on 41. Yeah. A couple of tables within striking distance, and thanks to the fact that someone at the fried table almost got bitten by a crocodile, <laughs> they're finally on the board. Yeah. I knew that trip to the Northern Territory wasn't a total waste. <laughs> what are you laughing for? Taylor, what? what's wrong? What's wrong is we're getting beaten. Why is winning so important? Because... Because it beats losing. I don't know. What? What are you talking about? You don't care if we're totally humiliated in front of the whole school. Look, the way I see it, yeah, losing sucks, but if you lose spectacularly, yeah. that's kind of cool. Yeah! Oh. Huh? <laughs> tanking, big time. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Want more drink? What I want is a miracle. Let's get into it. Time for someone to make a big charge home. Now, I've called this round your Chakras and you. Oh! Chakras aren't even real. That can't do it. List the seven primary Which chakras. Chakra is concerned with insight and visualization. No further progress from the floon table. <laughs> Undergarments uncovered. Oh, come to the king. What are the two major classifications of men's undergarments? Why were elastic waistbands outmoded in the 1940s? Our carryover champs still not making their move. Trash and treasure. What type of shop is also classified as a chess piece? To whom is a three ball symbol attributed? The royal family of Monaco. <gasps> Give me some elbow room. For how many centuries have the Grimaldis ruled Monaco? The flu's not having any luck. And it's on, folks. A titanic tussle with two teams neck and neck and pulling away from the rest. The floon table and the Fry Lepowski table. Yeah. Is everyone ready for the final round? Yeah. Now, I've decided to do things a little differently this year. This last round is a double or nothing round, which means any team can win it. But it's not about trivia. It's time to get off your backsides and get physical. Tables back, lights on, one couple from each table. It's time to dance! Let's rock this place! Oh, come on, Dad, let's show up some come stuff! Come let's Mom, go! Mom, Dad, are you kidding? You cannot go out there and do one of your oldie surfy dances. Why not? Because you stink, lovey. I think Gazza and I should give them a taste of the good old rock and roll! No, no, guys, guys, sit down. This is my area of expertise. Don't worry, she can dance. Oh. Oh. What is that? Oh, what? I thought you said she's a good dance. Time to unveil our grand prize. A big screen telly graciously donated by Gary Lipolsky. Thanks, Gary. Welcome back to our TV. Say something. 
Sarah, you stole our TV and donated it in your own name? Actually, Michael, your telly's still in my shop. I think you'll find that one's a couple of centimetres bigger. Oh. Carry on. OK, time to announce the winners. And they are... The Fry Table! Oh, yeah. I owe you one. Oh, big time. Hey, congratulations. You too, Leon. Thanks. I don't say anything embarrassing. I'd just like to say that we're very proud to win and we've decided to donate the TV to the school's audiovisual department. What? What's wrong? I don't know. I've got this funny feeling and I don't know what it is. You don't mean pride. Maybe? You told me to say something. Yes, but I didn't tell you to shut. Hey, what's wrong with Brittany? It looks like our TV. That is our TV. I know that look. That's embarrassment. Speaking of embarrassment... Let's dance. No! No! no. Let's dance! <laughs> invisible. That's how I feel. The only time I don't feel invisible is when I wish I really was invisible. The rest of the time, I might as well not exist. Everybody acts as if I'm not there even when they're talking about me. I think the only person who even cares that I exist is Hector. But then nobody seems to care that he exists either. Oh, poor little table baby thinks nobody cares. Hey, this is private. So? You don't see me reading your diary, do you? That's because I'm not stupid enough to leave it lying around. <laughs> is a bit of privacy too much to ask for? There. Problem solved. You know you've got really bad taste. I'm running a kissing booth with Maddie and Nina. I need to practice. Hey, what do you think? I made this to protect a human target in my paint bombing booth. Stylish, yeah, functional. What do you think? Look what I found for the trash and treasure store. Whoa, 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 not how. What we need to unclutter our lives, Don, free up some energy. This is not clutter, this is how. We've been together 20 years. I would like to think you could sacrifice an old surfboard in the name of charity. Charity? Yes, charity, Don. We're supposed to be raising money for local causes. But, this... but what, Don? This isn't over. Mr. T! Is he staying or going? We need decisions, people. If you want to keep something, hide it. Otherwise, it's fair game. It's all for a good cause. Don't worry. I wouldn't have let them take you. I knew you wouldn't. I found my human target. My booth is complete. <laughs> I promised the principal I'd chair the fake committee meeting today. Make sure I get a prime position. I want to be where everyone can see me. Who could possibly miss me? Oh, I'll see what I can do, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Ew. inspired students your self-portraits are due tomorrow and I want them to burn burn with inner meaning I nearly finished my self-portrait it's really bad and it looks like me what did Mr Listerman say oh, I think he wants us to burn something let's start with his collection our art is so much better at home come on Taylor I'll catch up set yourself <laughs> Don't look so serious. You're cracking me up. 
I have to be serious. I'm trying to learn about art. Ah, oh, forget old Mr. Fancy Pants. Art's not about what you know. It's about what you feel. Now, can you do me a favour and scratch, uh, scratch my nose? Pardon? Scratch my nose. I haven't been able to lift a hand in 50 years. Can you help me out? Remember, class, a good self-portrait requires one to abandon one's guard and let your inner self pour forth onto the canvas. Bet you he didn't start at Sunburn Beach. Do you like the tiara? Is it an expression of your inner self? Of course. Brittany's a princess on the inside, sir. Ah, uh, and this, I suppose, is you, Mr. Lepowski. Yep, me in a supercharged V6. A what? It's a car. Oh, so it is. Oh, I did it as an abstract. It's yes, like... I can see that. Good likeness, Hector. Taylor Fry. I'm speechless. Speechless good or speechless bad? Oh, it's magnificent. Really? Gather round, class. I'd like to hear your appraisals of this piece. Well, the clothes don't really work. Nice bear. Anyone else? Well, it shows how she feels about growing up confusion of leaving her childhood behind for the turbulence of her teen years. No, that's not what it means. It means... What a wonderful appraisal, Hector. It is indeed a window to the artist's soul. Uh, before you all go, I'd like you to donate your portraits to the fundraising auction at the school fete this weekend. That way we can raise funds for the community and display your work for everyone to see. Everyone? All in favour? Taylor? If it's such a big deal, why'd your pants have revealing portrait? I don't know. I just wanted to paint what I feel. Now everyone's going to see all the stuff that you saw. No, they won't. They just saw what Brittany and Leon saw. A lack of fashion sense and a nice teddy bear. If I thought that portrait was a window to my soul, I would have closed the blinds. <laughs> What was that? Opening my chakras to find out whatever's blocking Taylor's energy. She's growing up so fast. Oh. <laughs> Remember this? Mm hmm. What was that about sacrifice in the name of charity? No. Oh, right, all right. She's not too old for storybooks, is she? Let it go, Glenn. It's your box. Hey. People are going to see my portrait. People I know. People I don't know. I've got to get that portrait back, Hector, to save my reputation. You don't have a reputation. Well, I will if people see the portrait. I'll be known as the girl with the teddy bear. You're exaggerating. I'm not. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Look, are you going to go on about this all day? Yes. Fine. It's too late now. All the portraits have been locked in the art room. I don't care. We've got to do something. We've got to get it back before the auction. We? Yes, we. Come on. Well, that was fun. Got to get in there. Always a thought. Why don't you just get over it? I'm not leaving without that portrait. Why don't you just go to the auction and buy it yourself? Because by then everyone will have seen it. Besides, I've only got what? Seven dollars and forty cents. So getting over it isn't an option. Nope. Didn't think so. Swan? <laughs> Girls change rooms. Oops. It's this one. Push me up. I'm too young for a life of crime. I'm assuming there's an explanation. I, I was... We were just... I was trying to 
Taylor's no. worried about her painting being too revealing. Hector! What? Your painting is nothing to be worried about, Taylor. Easy for you to say. A self-portrait is merely a perception of oneself. It's the soul of the artist revealing itself to the artist. Yeah, but... But... Nothing. Thank you. I'm so dead, Hector. That portrait will follow me to my grave. Here lies Taylor Fry, the 12-year-old with the teddy bear. See here. Hi. Hi, Squirt. Hey, if you find me missing, check your mother's stall, will you? I know, she's out of control. She'd probably sell me for charity, too. Wouldn't get much. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, what is that stuff on your lips? Lip moisturizer. Gotta get ready for the big day. <laughs> hey, hey! Come here. Does anyone want these, or am I just making them for myself? <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. I'm off to help your father set up for the fate. Mwah. Don't take too long to get there, okay? I'm coming after the auction. Way after the auction. By the way, I took some of your baby things for the store. My diary! Wait! Okay, Taylor, pay attention. This is important. Layla, no! No, I need your help. It's a matter of life or death. Which one would be better for the kissing booth? The long-lasting natural sheen or the sweet strawberry gloss? Taylor, what are you doing out here in your pyjamas? My pyjamas? This is nothing. Once the whole universe sees my self-portrait and Mum sells my diary, I'll have nothing left to hide. What diary? It's a long story. Sweetheart, one of my helpers must have sold it. I'll keep an eye out. Is everything okay? Mum, don't ask me why. Trust me. I have to get that book back or my life is as good as over. <laughs> she gets so attached to things. <laughs> Can I please have this back? Absolutely. Have you got any money? Two dollars. Oh, that's wonderful. Very generous. Thank you. Bye-bye. Funny's one word for it. Coming. Wanna take a shot at Listerman? Ah, uh, no, nah, I've gotta go. Hey, come on, Tyler. You know how you're always complaining about Mr. Listerman. There's your chance to get him back. Ah, uh, I never complained just thinking of someone else. Now, there you go, Taylor. Give it your best shot. Have you heard the good news? What good news? The auction. Was it cancelled? Uh, it went splendidly, and your portrait caused quite a stir. Uh, I think I might have to go out. Hang on, it sold for more than any other student entry. Really? Really. But who bought it? Uh, if we're not going to throw, can we move on, please, to the next contestant? Oh, away you go! Sorry, Taylor, Judy calls. All right, Mr. Listerman, this is my portrait of you. Yeah! 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 Nice, Mr. Listerman. 
Jason Lepowski. Marge's magic curry puffs. Beautiful Marge. Marge, I need help. Don't tell me. You're hungry. Mm-mm. Sink your teeth and uh this. Oh, everybody loves them. They do. Mm. I, I mean me too. Now I need you to keep an eye out for something. Nope, okay? don't tell me. It's a person. Object. That's what I meant. An object that means something to you. Yes, yes, it does. And I need to get it back. It's a book. Well, it's not really a book. It looks like a book. I know, lovey. I've got the second sight, remember? Now what colour is it? No, don't tell me. It's green, yellow, blue. I've got it. I'll keep an eye out for it. And it's 50 cents for the curry puff. Oh, come on, lovey. We're fundraising here, you know. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Your turn, Layla. Just a sec. OK. Don't even think about it. <sighs> what do you want? Can't you see we're busy? Oh, yeah, the queue. Stretches for... Wait a minute, what kid? Shut up. I'm looking for a big blue storybook. It's got something inside it, something private. Don't tell me you were stupid enough to hide your diary inside that storybook. No. Yes. <laughs> Layla, I'm serious. Look, if you find out who's got it, I'll clean your room for a week. Whatever. Now get lost. You're scaring away the customers. My bed. Bowie? His name's not Bowie, it's Mr. T, and he's mine. He's mine, and you can't have him. <sighs> How about I give you another bed? Hmm? I don't want another bed. I want this one. <sighs> what if I give you five dollars for him? Make it seven. I've got to get that book back. That's a relief. Uh, hang on. What? It's a two. What? What? I, I, I don't understand. It's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Mom. How many fingers? Seven. Brittany, where's your mum? Surgery. Oh, can we get seven fingers? What happened? I don't know, maybe it's something she ate. How many fingers? Are you in pain? This is hurt. Only my pride. Hey. Mum, you bought her painting? Yeah, it's a wonderful piece, isn't it? So was mine. Yes, but this one has such depth, as if it's, it's trying to tell a story. Let me guess. A story about me leaving my childhood behind for the turbulence of my teen years? Well, no, that's not what I got out of it. Is that what you're aiming for? No, that's what Hector said. Well, then that's how Hector feels. Really? So you didn't see any of that? No. I see love. I see loneliness. It's of the child's looking out through a glass cage. But I didn't put any of that in there. Oh, it's not about what you put in, Pumpkin. It's about what comes out. Right, now let's get you checked out. Do you have a headache? Mm, no, I'm actually feeling a little better. You sure? I think I'm going to be OK. Good. <laughs> now I'm going to be sick. Thank you. See you later. Helen, do you remember selling a big blue storybook? Uh, yeah, some kid bought it. If you know him, is it Herb or is it Henry? Hector. Hector! That's it. I think the only person who even cares that I exist is Hector. But then nobody seems to care that he exists either. No! What if he's read it? What if he's read all my private thoughts? Hector! Huh? Hector! Wait! I'm in pain. Pain? I didn't mean to hurt you. You didn't. I didn't? Good, because all that stuff I wrote was supposed to be private. What? You mean you'd write something that would hurt me? I wrote a whole bunch of stuff about a whole bunch of people. 
And none of it's anybody else's business except mine, and you should never have read it. Read what? My diary! I didn't! You didn't? No, I didn't. How could I? It's locked. I knew that. I didn't even know the diary was in the book until I bought it. Hold on. You bought a book of fairy tales? Why would you buy a book on fairy tales in the first place? Say it a little louder, Taylor. I think there's someone on the moon who didn't hear it. I like fairy tales. How can I go? Hang on. If you didn't read my diary, how come you're trying to run from me? I think it was my just curry puffs. I hate six of them. And now I have to go, and I mean I really have to go. Sorry. What's wrong with him? He thinks it's your curry puffs. Mm, well, he could be having a little reaction to one of my new ingredients. What ingredient? Dried prune. <laughs> Sure, you're okay. I'll never eat another curry puff again. <laughs> hey, I thought you were worried about being seen as a girl with a teddy bear. Yeah, but not anymore. What changed? I got over it. Hi, guys, what? Hit us with your best shot. Don't encourage it, Don. I'm hoping to get out of his unscathed. Don't worry, love. You can't hit it from that side, right? <laughs> Come on, give us everything you've got. Make us proud. Really? Which one? 15. Uh, Crystal. What do you mean? Ah, Crystal. It's tradition, Taylor. 15th anniversary is the crystal? I don't get it. Well, you know how the 25th is silver and the 50th is gold? Yeah. Well, 15th is crystal. Just like this. It's perfect. That's the thing with Britney's family. They do everything properly. So what was your parents' last anniversary, Taylor? I'm not sure. Seriously? You really don't know? My parents don't really make a big deal about anniversaries. They should. It's important. Really important. It's sacred, even. Well, when I get married, I'm going to remember my anniversary. Me too. Oh, come on, Taylor. Let's see who you're going to marry. Mm. Come on, pick one. Crush. C-R-U-S-H. Three. One, two, three. Two. Hector. Ew! Do it again. Crush. C R U S. Don't worry about it. Three. Look, Don, it's Book Week. They're having a poetry festival at Sunburn Library. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach. Mum! Dad, when was your anniversary? Hmm? Huh? Anniversary. What's the date? I don't need an excuse to spoil your mother. Yeah, good, good, good. But when's the date? Well, we like to think every day is a celebration. That's so romantic. Okay, romantic. When is it? There must be a date. Well, let me see. It was um, spring. Or was it summer? It was a long time ago. Yeah. It only seems like yesterday, doesn't it? It was the most important event of your life. You must know the date. November. November. Great. Now give me a number. Any number. Pick a number. Taylor, sweetheart, your father and I didn't do the traditional thing. We had more like a rolling week of celebrations. Yeah, the best bit was when your mother went in swimming. You went swimming? <laughs> and your wedding? Oh, yes. It just sort of happened. Tide was coming in, music was playing. You've got a video here somewhere. I remember Marge's friend that played the didgeridoo. What was his name? Gareth? Gareth, yes! Ooh, what are we watching? Mum and Dad's wedding video. Oh, gross. Here we go. <laughs> You're going to love this. Is this all right, Tate? Yeah, of course it is. Now watch, watch, watch. Cool. <laughs> you are my once-in-a-lifetime miracle. My soulmate and companion. My sun and shining star. <laughs> awesome. Oh. 
Yeah. Kisses will water. Get that hair. I give you the sea. If hugs were leaves, I give you a tree. But of all of life's gifts, be they big or they small, our love, darling Glenda, is most precious of all. No, I made that up. It's pure fry. Oh, yeah. Fly. Be free. Oh. Embarrassing. I thought it was romantic. What were they trying to do? Get married or race pigeons? Where were the wedding cars? The bridesmaids? I'd want all that. It's not about that. If it wasn't a proper wedding, it can't be a proper marriage, right? Wrong. There are heaps of different ways to get married. None of them include the bride getting beached like some sort of whale. They're in love. What more do you want? Hey, any buds? Uh, not yet, Mr. Floon, but can I ask your opinion on something? You being a lawyer? Cost you? Yeah, far away. If a couple don't have a proper wedding, what does it mean? Save a lot of money. But does it make a difference? To some, yes. Others, no. What about you? Well, Loretta and I would never have chosen anything but a traditional wedding, Taylor. Without that, she, we, wouldn't have felt committed. Tight lines, guys. Thanks. Did you hear that? This could be way serious. He's getting obsessed. You heard what he said. They're not committed. They're overreacting. This is my family we're talking about, Hector. I have to fix this before it's too late. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life to thee. Mm. See? Great. My unmarried parents are kissing. Thanks for pointing that one out, Drama Queen. You know, <laughs> sonnets really get me right here. Well, you should read it at the festival then. You think? Yeah. Mum, Dad, hmm. have you guys ever considered making a long-term legal commitment to each other? Already done that, Squirt. It's called a mortgage. Don't you think it's time to have a proper traditional wedding? I'm not following. Haven't you ever dreamt of walking down the aisle in a veil and a puffy white dress? <laughs> Think you can take that as a no. Dad, what about you? Hmm? Haven't you ever wanted to wear a tuxedo and leave the van at home and ride off into the sunset in a vintage car? The van was built in 84. It is vintage. That went well. It isn't over. You're organising a surprise wedding. That's right. The couple are very private. No paparazzi. <laughs> you thought <laughs> me and him? <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> the wedding's not for us. It's for my mum and dad. They're renewing their vows. Oh, really? And what style of event are you interested in? Something casual? Outdoors, perhaps? No. No birds, no flutes, no wildlife of any kind. I see. I want the event to be as formal as possible. Mm, lots of bridesmaids and groomsmen. Ooh, a vintage car and a string quartet. How much would an event like that cost? Upwards of 35. Dollars? Thousand. Does that include the stick? And there, around the overflow, where the reed beds sweep and sway, to the breezes and the rolling plains of light. <coughs> the man from Snowy River <coughs> is a household word today. And the stockmen tell the story of his ride. Oh! Oh, lovely, lovely. Our next participant today to delight us is Don Fry. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Loretta. Before I begin, I'd like to dedicate this sonnet to my beautiful Glenda. Oh. Notice how he didn't say my beautiful wife, Glenda? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? And compare it to a properly married woman. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. You shouldn't be talking to her like that. They're not even married. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this, and this gives life. Oh, 
I haven't finished yet. There's something I'd like to ask. Glenda, you're as beautiful to me now as you were on the day we began our life together. In front of everybody here today, I ask you to renew our commitment together. Of course I will. Yes! <laughs> And you're all invited. We'll recreate the original ceremony. Every last detail. No way. The same as before. Every last detail. Your parents are so romantic. This is just great. My life is over. Finish. Kaput. I have to do something. Anything. Wait a minute. Why not? I'll run away before the wedding. I'll make a new start in some country where brides don't beach themselves. All I need to do is become an exchange student somewhere, anywhere. Like maybe Africa. <laughs> I've spoken to a bloke about some doves. Marge has kindly agreed to officiate. Rainbow Bay will make a gorgeous spectrum. The bay? Isn't that a bit... public? Exactly. Everybody can share in our joy. Layla, your father and I were hoping you would be our bridesmaid. I got my legs to wax. You don't wax. I'll start. Taylor, perhaps you might do us the honour of being our flower girl? She'd love to. Tremendous. And Hector? A uh, special favour. Could you see your way clear to being our ring bearer? And if you would, saying a few words during the ceremony. It'd be an honour, sir. It'd be an honour, sir. I can't believe I get to make a speech. You've gone to the dark side, Hector. You're supposed to be my friend. I am your friend. Your ring bearing, speech making friend. Uh, so what do you reckon? Should I bow or go down on one knee? Any luck, I won't be there to find out. But what? I'm applying to be an exchange student. Emergency placement. I'll be gone before the wedding. Why do you always do this? Do what? This. Make everything into a big drama. Because it is a big drama? No, it's not. It's your parents' big day. You have to be there. The whole of Sunburn Beach will be there. They won't miss me. Now, help me fill these out. Where'd you get these? The internet. I need you to sign my dad's name, seeing as he's such a good friend. No way. Well, do it for me. Do it yourself. I'm signing my mum's name. I need you to sign my dad's name. I can't believe you're asking me to do this. If you were really my friend, you'd understand. And if you were really my friend, you wouldn't make me do this in the first place. Hector, I am your friend. You're ring bearer at my parents' wedding. What more proof do you want? What I want is for you to go to the wedding. No can do. Now, here, sign. I'll probably cry at the wedding. Me too. So the tradition is your mum's got to have something old and something new, something borrowed and something blue. So what'd be blue, Taylor? Her lips, probably. Depending on the water temperature. It is going to be a traditional wedding, isn't it? Hey, Squirt! Can you believe this? It's Jared, And he's available Saturday. And Sunday, mate. Tremendous! Coffee? No problem. <gasps> Mummy! I see a half man, half horse swimming out of the sky and landing right in the middle of Rainbow Bay. What? Yeah. Marge, you're reading a biscuit. Is it? Oh, oh so it is. In that case, it'll be the happiest day of your life. Hi, Hi Marge. Hi, guys. I, Taylor, letter for you. They can't fit me in. The student exchange committee's in the area, but all the appointments are taken. I can't escape before the wedding. This is a disaster. My life is ruined. Seriously, utterly, totally ruined. Do you think I should spike my hair? Just do the best you can. And now I'm to kick off all my wontons and missing cavity, will it? 300. 300? Mum, how many people are coming? Taylor Swift. Ow! Oh, I'll get it. Oh, you should see our outfits. Hector and I are going to be the best looking blokes at Rainbow Bay. Naughty boy, it's bad luck to the groom to see the bride before the wedding. Nothing can spoil my day, Loretta. Glenda, let me call my hairdresser. Oh, is that what you're wearing? Is that a hairband? Oh, just a little. 
Thank you, Fire residents. Can I speak to Taylor Fry, please? Speaking. Robert Chen here from Student Exchange. Yeah? One of our interviews for today has dropped out. Uh, I realise it's a short notice, but Look are you to come in for a chat in, say, half an hour? I'll be there. A ring is a friend, so let's be round. A friend is a ring. That's round. This better be good. I have got an interview for the student exchange program. When? Now! Now! Taylor, the ceremony starts in half an hour. I'll talk quickly. But I'm the ring bearer. I have to make a speech. I got responsibility. Ah, you must be Taylor Fry. Yep, that's me. Will your parents be joining us? Actually, they can't make it. They're getting married. They're busy today, but, uh... I've said my goodbyes and I'm ready to start my student exchange as soon as possible. As far away as possible. I was thinking Swaziland or Zaire. Well, I can see that you're keen. I'm very keen. Take a seat and we'll get started with that interview. So tell us about yourself. Well, I'm a good student, I'm fit. Uh, my interests include fishing and pet care. It, it's all in the application. Of course. But before we can approve your application, we must speak with your referee. Someone who knows you very well but it's not related to you. Hector will be my referee. He's my best friend and he can tell you that I'm the perfect candidate for an immediate foreign exchange placement. Can't you, Hector? I'm sorry. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Donald Fry did not sign those papers. I did. Hector. I'm sorry, Taylor. thinking. Exactly! No, I mean, what was I thinking going along with your stupid plan in the first place? I'm ring bearer and I have a speech. I've been rehearsing it for days. I don't think you understand. No, I don't think you understand. This is a wedding we're talking about. Your parents' wedding. Yeah, but, but what? What can you possibly say that will let you off the hook? We'll meet him at the beach. No. You wanted a traditional wedding, didn't you? We're in the wedding party. It's tradition to travel with the bride and groom. We'll never get there in time. Never say never. Oh. Wait! Oh, you are such a bad actor. Come on. I'm not acting, Hector. Come on, your parents are counting on you. I'm sorry. Never say never. The ring is round, so let's be friends. The ring is round. The ring's a friend until the end. The ring. You nearly killed us. You're going with Marge. No way, she burnt me. Listen to me, Marge. Stop, wait for us. Ah, I knew you'd make it. Now, and a man, I'm counting on you. Ah, I'm traveling with your brother alone. Taylor, 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 I can do this. I pushed that trolley a long way. No, stop now! I've got people to marry. Well, you two took your time. Didn't think we were going to make it. Actually, I don't think I'm going to. Still, it wouldn't be a wedding without some little last minute hitch, would it? <laughs> Mark, stop the car! Excuse me. Remind me to kill you later. Thanks, 
so I feel much better now. What's that smell? Vomit. And so it began. The most embarrassing day of my life so far. <sighs> You betcha! But before we begin the vows, I believe one of the wedding party has something he'd like to share. Go for it, kid. Our ring is round. It has no ends. That's how long we'll be your friends. Oh, thanks, Hector. <laughs> Same to you. <laughs> That's it? That's your speech? Good, huh? Don. You are my once-in-a-lifetime miracle. My soulmate and companion. My sun and shining star. If kisses were water, I'd give you the sea. If hugs were leaves, I'd give you a tree. But of all of life's gifts, be they big or they small, our special family is most precious of all. Always and forever. <laughs> and just when I thought it was going to get seriously abysmal, something really weird happened. I started to have a good time. I didn't care about the nutty stuff anymore. Like the pigeons, Jared and his mates, or even the very bad dancing. I didn't even mind when my mother beached herself. Because I realised that my parents were never going to be like other mums and dads. They're going to be like this. Always and forever. They're pretty lucky, really. And so am I. Oh, 